Well, all right. As many of you know, my video yesterday was taken down very promptly, I think within 20 minutes of being up. And all I did was talk about the two New York Assembly bills. The main reason I started Wi-Fi shielding is because it's blatantly obvious that radiation levels from modern devices, technology, are the most damaging aspects of our current lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and I feel like I've lost my hair. The animal glandulars are powders and the vitamins and minerals are liquid. Fluoride, fluoride, fluoride. Anyone who starts exploring health and nutrition figures out very quickly it's not something you should be brushing your teeth with, let alone drinking. Probiotics have been a key component in restoring my own gut health. I really didn't start getting better until I was drinking sauerkraut juice, which shifted over to water kefir, both of those containing similar strains of bacteria. You guys smell that? I think the tendies are burning in the oven. So these past few days is the first time in several years that I haven't published a YouTube video every day, you know, let alone four days. Hello comrades. So I've been in a freezer every day for the past few weeks and I figured the Russians uh, would make some pretty warm hats. Well, unironically, after I spend about $600 to fix my 2001 Ford Taurus, uh, we are not so lucky and you know on a car that's only worth a thousand dollars everyone has directly experienced the cognitive decline of a family member whether it's your grandparents parents brothers sisters it's one of the worst things to ever happen it seems like the war on meat hits the news every month or so typical predictive programming so people will accept their meatless fate in the near future and uh don't worry, you vegan boys, that does not apply to you. Don't get too scared. Oh, we've been saying it for years now. Cow farts destroy our environment, not the deers shitting in the woods. I couldn't decide whether to talk about the Suez Canal, injection passports in New York, climate change policies. It all leads to the same conclusion. Everything is fake, staged for one end goal, we spoke about the dangers of mercury amalgam, fucking amalgam, amalgam. You guys were giving me crap last week for how I was saying it. The point is, if the person telling you the truth doesn't know the terminology, then maybe the people in the field, the dentists, the orthodontists, are all complicit with each other in making you sick and padding their bank accounts. I wonder if we attracted any vegan theory boys with that title. And don't worry about me making fun of them because if they actually watch this video, they'll be too distracted by my biceps to hear what I'm saying. Every unfortunate thing to happen in my life, and especially my parents' life, has been a result of modern medicine doctors. And this is just another one. What saddens me is my parents also made my sister get vaccinated. And Welcome back to Frankie's School of Dentistry. Sponsored by frank-stefano.com. Please subscribe to the newsletter linked to support oral health education. We live in a time where doctors make a lot of money, not just for peddling drugs through big pharma or pushing unnecessary medical procedures. They seem to enjoy mutilating people in the name of medicine. <laughs> At some point, you hope people realize that just about everything in our modern diet and lifestyle is poisoning us, table salt being no exception. The weather has cleared up just in time for me to pick up some cute girl at the gym. And by that, I mean drive to this godforsaken gym and try not to lose my mind any further. I was so angry on the phone with American Express earlier, I could feel the steam going out of my ears. Uh, so, so let me give some background to the story. There are many lifestyle factors which are overlooked on a daily basis that are incredibly important to be mindful of. We did a video on indoor air quality a few months back, which is definitely high on that unknown list. And today we're going to discuss chewing your food. They use stupid nonsense like, buy the dip to the moon, when they know exactly 
when the real dip is because they are insider trading. In my video last Saturday, I spoke about how water kefir has been the sole factor in making me feel a lot better. When you have dysbiosis, microbiome imbalance, gut issues, you'll lack energy, even feel sad, anxiety, overall a very negative state to be in. Listen guys, don't go like running into your living room like, mom, don't touch the flowers. Uh, but a bouquet of flowers for Mother's Day, or any holiday for that matter, is the tradition no one really thinks about. The general consensus on health pertaining to diet and lifestyle is based around big pharma profits, making a few people a lot of money at the expense of the masses, causing every modern disease and illness we know to this day based on different scenarios. These negatives are magnified greatly during developmental stages of life. I honestly don't know how these companies aren't getting put out of business by class action lawsuits for making men grow tits and women start looking at another woman, but uh, that's a story for another video. I don't know about you guys, but I am sick to my stomach with this new world order nonsense. Why couldn't these lunatic psychopaths wait a another few dozen years so I don't have to be here for this. I just don't get it. At what point do people just say screw it and go outside and do what they want? At what point does the rat go crazy in its cage staring at the cheese? The mainstream media would have you believe we're living happier, healthier, longer lives than our past ancestors that they were dropping dead from heart attacks in their 30s and every other baby was miscarried. As usual, the opposite of what they say is closer to the truth. Time is really flying by. It's almost two years now since we started the bodybuilding transformation and about five months since uh, we quit. So today we'll touch on foods that are most important for physical development outside of those stages. The war on meat's been going on for longer than I've been alive, but I guess you could say the first shots have officially been fired. Just two days ago, we spoke about fake meat replacing real meat, and two weeks ago, I did a video on the food crisis that was simulated. But Frank, why should I get a tattoo? Pretty simple actually. A lot of baddies have tattoos, and baddies like dudes with tattoos. Therefore, if you want a girl with a pretty face and fat coochie, getting a tattoo will drastically increase your chances of doing so. Many of you are either following a carnivore diet or have recently done so, which is entirely meat, being very high in B vitamins, but that doesn't mean you're exempt from certain B vitamin deficiencies. There is no explaining why baby formula is so poisonous other than some very evil people being in charge of these regulating bodies. And that can be applied to just about every piece of modern health advice, but when babies and children get involved, I'm completely disgusted as it's the most vulnerable stage of development and all those helpless babies and children have is their natural instinct, which parents avoid. H. pylori is a stomach bug that has unknowingly wreaked havoc on so many people. Helicobacter pylori used to be referred to as Campylobacter until they recategorized it. A Nobel Prize was actually awarded for its discovery in 2005. H. pylori believed to be the primary cause of ulcers. Do you know who I am? The average person eats over 60 pounds of refined white sugar every single year. This sugar consumption being blamed for most health issues, the source of all our problems. Some of you may remember I had Ice Age Farmer on my podcast about a year ago, not realizing at the time that he was just another secret society shill. Over the past few years, various hot and cold therapy methods have grown in popularity. Not as much recently, but I'm sure even the average person has heard about something. Hi, I'm Maya Bildi Bozo, and I've taken time out of my busy schedule at the sauna to deliver you this worthy news story. So today I announce a new approach which we're calling the key to NYC pass. Smartphones, Apple Watches, Amazon Echo, Google Home. 
the technology in the life of the average person is ever so increasing. Soon enough, smart versions of anything imaginable will be available to everyone. Are we at the beginning of a full technological control? It never surprises me that modern health advice tends to be the opposite of the truth. I've been speaking about how sunscreen is bad for you in just about every vitamin D video I've made for the past few years, but I've never dedicated a video specifically to it. Hi mites, since we spoke about Australia last Friday, riots and protests have broken out over the weekend. Uh, who knows if they're fake and staged, but uh, they might be just what the government wants. And the scariest part about this isn't just the health effects. It's being used as part of the psychological warfare operation being enacted on the American public to move us towards some type of global communism. Introducing Flextrose Pure Glucose Powder. You guys remember that, uh, that Power Thirst commercial from like 15 years ago? <laughs> There's been some very peculiar weather in New York over the past few months. Maybe if AOC cranked open her gigantic ass jaw and looked up at the sky, we wouldn't be having this conversation as she could have easily sucked up all that rain and then we just drag her bloated ass over to the East River to evacuate the sewage properly. A quick Google search reveals a media blitz of dozens and dozens of articles to let everyone possible know that animals were infected and there is zero proof that one species can get a different species sick with a particular illness. Although it's difficult to steer people away from modern medicine, there are some people that are willing to listen, usually in more severe circumstances. Frankie Finance is back, and I guess finance isn't really the best word because all I really do is explain to you guys that the 1% elite want to steal your money. Point is, the parasites in charge are fear-mongering yet more made up nonsense to get people to believe it so when they stage certain events it's expected one specific i've never really touched on is you know how much vitamin d are we getting when we go out in the sun how much iu international units is our body producing uh, so in 1992 the usda came out with what they called the food guide pyramid ironically i was born in 1992 to save the day. So we've done several videos on iodine in the past. One more recently showing you guys a nasal oral flush that can prevent you from getting sick. And the two older videos, one was iodine in general, and the second was about halogen toxicity, expanding on everything you really need to know about iodine. I've been saying for the past few months, that the climate agenda is their next step after this you know what <coughs> nonsense. We are going to discuss my hair mineral analysis tests and I've actually gotten several of these over the past two years but before that there's quite a bit we have to go over. We are several days into No Nut November and I have never participated in this No Nut nonsense. We even did a video I think two years ago now debunking the testosterone myths talking about this a lot. It's been pretty obvious that one of the predominant goals of the parasitical elite is to eliminate small business. What's going on? How are you guys today? I am back after an unintended break, but I am pleased to announce my new food review show series on YouTube, Best Burger Reviews. Against my better judgment, I am making this video. I was planning on talking about the psychological aspects of No Nut November, the benefits of abstaining from masturbation and pornography, but is excess estrogen causing height obsession in females when seeking a male partner? Is the Bitcoin Ponzi scheme coming to an end? Will the Bitcoin butt buddies ever stop bumping their bussies together? A logical person would ask, why don't they just do what they want to do, get the new world order over with tomorrow, instead of all of this mainstream media psychological warfare for months, for years? 